Major Ryan Link and Captain Justin Grieve are ending a four-month deployment in Guam. They're one of two crews returning home today in a unique warplane, the B-2 bomber. Developed in the 1980s during the Cold War, the stealth bomber was designed to defeat Soviet radar. There are only 21 of them in existence. Today, the 7,000-mile journey home from Guam will require the crew to refuel near the Hawaiian Islands and then over California before reaching Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. Major Link is a qualified instructor on the B-2. Captain Greaves, an experienced pilot with more than 2,500 hours of military flying experience. They are among only 300 pilots qualified to fly the B-2. The plane they're flying is named Spirit of Kansas. First MCT. Good cues. Knots. What was that? FCS caution. Stop or go? Go. Warning rescinded. 145, rotate. Spirit of Kansas lifts off the runway at Guam. Almost immediately, the massive bomber pitches up dramatically. Full power. The B-2 isn't gaining altitude. It's still only 80 feet off the ground and losing speed. The pilots now feel their airplane shaking violently and realize it's on the verge of stalling. The plane's left wing drops. Reeve knows the plane is heading to the ground. There's only one thing he can do to save his and Major Link's lives. Grieve doesn't have time to think about his decision. The B-2's left wing is now scraping the ground. We gotta get out. Explosives tear a hole in the fuselage above the cockpit, and rockets eject the pilots from the aircraft. The stealth bomber hits the ground and bursts into flames. Alert one, alert one, runway six, Romeo, runway six, Romeo. One of the world's most advanced warplanes has been incinerated during a routine takeoff. The whole world is left wondering what went wrong.